Good morning everyone, this is Miss Emma Salam with you and I'm gonna explain to you grammar of Unit 4, Oxford Grade 4. Verbs followed by gerund and infinitive. I call them lovely friends. Why do I call them lovely friends? Because they accept both gerund and two plus base verb without a, with a slight difference in meaning. What are those lovely friends? Huh? Can you sing with me? Okay. Love like hit prepare repair start to begin. Those are lovely friends. Okay. Love like hit prepare repair start to begin. Those are lovely friends. Why do I call them lovely friends again? Because they accept both two plus base verb and gerund. What the meaning of gerund? It's base verb plus ing. Examples. I love to swim. I love swimming. I prefer to study English. I prefer studying English. What's the difference between I love to swim and I love swimming? If there is a difference, it will be very slight, slight difference. I love to swim. This means now. I love swimming. This means general. Generally, I love to swim. Okay, so I love to swim in a specific situation. But I love swimming. This is generally. Okay? Okay. But what are unlovely friends and why do we call them I love the unlovely friends? Unlovely friends are consider, appreciate, enjoy this, like, recommend, practice, finish, imagine, and don't mind. Again, unlovely friends are consider, appreciate, enjoy this, like, recommend, practice, finish, imagine, and don't mind. Why do we call them unlovely friends? Who can tell me? I call them unlovely friends because they accept only one friend. What is this friend? It's a gerund. What's the meaning of gerund again? Who can tell me? It's base verb plus ing. Examples. I enjoy playing football. What did you finish doing? I dislike watching her films. Okay, I enjoy playing football. Can I say I enjoy to? No, it's impossible. It accepts only one friend that's Jaren. I enjoy playing football. Okay, clear? Now, any other verbs rather than those verbs accept only two plus base verb. Any other verbs that I didn't mention accept only two plus base verb as agree to, appear to, choose to, decide to, expert, expect to, help to, learn to, promise to, seem to, refuse to, wish to, learn to, plan to. They accept only base verb, okay? And we have also fail, fail to. Again, what are those verbs? Agree, appear, Choose, decide, expect, hope, learn, promise, seem, learn, plan, want, fail. Okay? Examples. I agree to help you. He chooses to stay at home. They decide to go to the movie. I promised to pass the exam. Thank you for watching. Let's move to an example about using those words in sentences, especially in rewrite sentences. Okay? So, I want to play soccer. The word between two brackets, enjoy. This is a word I'm gonna use, okay? So, first of all, let's look at enjoy. Is it lovely friend or unlovely friend? Yeah, it's unlovely friend. Why it is unlovely friend? Because it's, it accepts only one friend. That is gerund. What the meaning of gerund? It's base verb plus ing. So, what comes after enjoy? Gerund. Great. Now, I want to play soccer. First of all, let's count. How many verbs do we have? We have two verbs. One, two, and play. Okay? So, in order to use enjoy, I need to delete or remove the first verb with its preposition. Okay? Okay. So, I enjoy play or playing. 
Yeah, great. It's playing. I enjoy playing soccer. I enjoy playing soccer. Okay. Why playing not to play? Because enjoy is unlovely friend. Because it accepts only one friend that is gerund. Okay. Okay. Let's move to example number two. I hope to finish my homework early. Okay. Uh, we are gonna use want. We are gonna use what? Want. First of all, want. Lovely or unlovely friend? Yeah. Want is not lovely nor unlovely friend. And I told you before that if I have any verb which is not lovely or unlovely, it's a verb which accepts two plus base verb. Which accepts two plus base verb. So, I hope to finish my homework early. So, how many verbs do I have? I have two verbs. Hope to and finish. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to remove the first verb with its preposition and put in instead of it want. So, I want. What if I have she or he? It will be she wants or he wants, okay? I want. What comes after want, as I said before? Two plus base verb only. Two plus base verb only. So I want to finish my homework. Clear? Okay, clear. Now let's move to sentence number three. I wanted to study English. I wanted to study English. Okay. Huh. The verb between two brackets start. So I wanted to use the verb start here in the sentence. First of all, start. Lovely verb or unlovely verb or another or, uh, another verb rather than those. Yeah, it's a lovely verb. Again, let's revise. What are lovely verbs? Lovely verbs are love, like, hit, prefer, start, begin. Those are lovely friends. Why do we call them lovely again? Because they accept both. They can huh, have two plus base verb or gerund verb plus ing. So I can say I started to study English if I'm talking about a specific case now I started to study English now or I started studying English if I'm talking about studying English in general but both of them correct okay so now let's revise again lovely and unlovely friends huh. what are lovely friends uh, love, like, hate, prefer, start, begin. Those are lovely friends. Why do we call them lovely friends? Because we accept both two plus base verb or gerund. What about verbs which are not friendly? They are unlovely friends. Who can tell me what are unlovely friends? They are hmm. consider, appreciate, enjoy, dislike. Recommend the practice, finish, imagine, and don't mind. After those verbs, we have only gerund. So, so we accept only one friend that is gerund. Verb plus I and G. Okay? Any other verb rather than those verbs, huh? Accept the two plus base verb only. Like the verb want, like the verb expect. Okay? Thank you.